Hello students, take out your geography book of class 6. Today we will start the first chapter of geography, representation of geographical features of the earth. In this chapter, we will discuss about the globe, limitation of the globe, introduction of map, types of maps in which we will discuss physical maps, political maps, and thematic maps, then significance of maps, components of maps, in which we will discuss title, scale, direction, and conventional symbols, then grid, sketch, and plan. But today we will discuss only the globe, limitation of the globe, introduction of map, types of maps, in which we will discuss physical map, political map and thematic map. But before we proceed with this topic, first I would like to discuss important terms related to it. Number 1. Geography. Geography means study of different features on the earth. Number 2. Globe. Means globe is a man-made model of the earth. Number 3. Ocean. Means the huge water body on the earth for example pacific ocean number four continent means huge land masses on the earth for example asia number five latitudes means an imaginary lines running from east to west and number six longitudes means an imaginary lines running from north to south number seven map means representation or drawing of the earth on a flat surface number eight physical map means the map which shows different physical features of the earth for example mountains plains etc number nine political map means the map which shows political divisions of the earth for example state capital etc number 10 thematic map means theme based map such as rainfall population etc and number 11 topographical map means the map which shows both natural and man made features by using different sign and symbols now students come on page number 9 of your book Representation of Geographical Features of the Earth Here representation means description and geographical features means it consists both man-made and naturally created features of the earth. Now let's start reading. The word geography comprises of two Greek words G means earth and graphion means to write. Student Underline the word comprises means consist of and Greek. Greek is the language of the people of Greece. Next, it means to write about or to describe the geographical features of the earth and their influence on human being. Here, influence means effect. The earth is the only planet in the solar system that supports life. Here, the solar system means the sun and the group of planets that moves around it. It is the home of human beings. Thus, it is very important for man to investigate how the earth's feature varies from place to place. Here, investigate means inspection and varies means different. Next, where are these places located? And how to get there? How far are they? To satisfy their curiosity and to answer these questions, man has developed a small but true model of the earth and that is the globe. Student, mark the word curiosity means interest. Now students, next we will discuss the globe. But before we start this topic, I would like to discuss important points related to it. The first point of the globe is 
the globe is a man-made model of the earth the globe is mounted on its axis the globe is shows exact shape of the oceans and continents present on the earth the latitudes and longitudes are also shown on the globe these imaginary lines help us to locate various places of the earth on globe now next we will read the globe the globe is a three dimensional true model of the earth here three dimensional means it consists length height and breadth the earth is actually about 40 million times bigger than the globe in your home or classroom the globe is mounted on its axis it rotates fairly just like the earth now student mark the word mounted means rotate and underline the word axis means an imaginary line on which earth rotates the globe shows exact shape of the oceans and continents present on the earth the parallels of latitudes and meridians of longitudes are also shown on the globe students the meaning of oceans and continents we have already discussed in important terms ocean means the huge water body on the earth and continent means huge land masses on the earth students latitudes are also known as parallels and longitudes are also known as meridians these imaginary lines help us to locate various places of the earth on the globe here the imaginary lines means we are talking about latitudes and longitudes it shows different physical features on the earth thus the globe provides us the truest possible information of the earth but at the same time it carries some drawbacks here drawbacks means disadvantages students see this image this is the image of globe true man made model of the earth now students next we will read limitation of the globe in this paragraph we will read about the disadvantages of the globe first it is very expensive here expensive means costly next at one time we can only see one part of the earth next it is heavy and awkward to carry from one place to another here awkward means difficult it does not show small information for example it is ideal to study world as a whole but it is not useful to study new delhi the capital of india it is very difficult to handle a globe student these are the disadvantages of the globe next to overcome these shortcomings maps are developed do you know what is map now student next we will read about maps now students come on page number 10 map here the question rises what do you mean by map map means representation or drawing of the earth on flat surface now let's start reading representation of the earth on a flat surface or on a piece of paper with the help of scale is called map student this is the definition of map so mark this line map is conversion of three dimensional features of the earth into two dimensional showcase of the earth here two dimensional means it consists length and breadth students this is the example of map which we are drawn on a flat surface now students come on page number 11 of your book next we will read types of maps here the question arises how many types of maps are there and the answer is there are three types of maps number 1 physical maps number 2 political maps and number 3 thematic maps first we will discuss physical maps so let's start reading maps are of various types let us discuss them here types of maps broadly maps can be categorized into three categories number 1 physical maps number 2 political maps and number 3 
thematic maps first physical maps these maps reveals the physical aspect of the earth on a flat surface here aspect means features means physical map shows physical features of the earth they shows mountains rivers valleys plains plateaus etc in physical maps different colors are used to show different landforms of the earth here landform means we are talking about the natural features again mountains rivers plateaus etc physical maps are small scale maps now student underline the word small scale map which means the map which show large area with less detail students this is the example of physical map as we have already read that different colors are used to show different landforms of the earth now you can see the map the brown color shows the mountains area and green color shows the plains area and yellow color shows the plateaus area so this is the example of physical map students come on page number 12 the next type of map we will discuss political maps maps which show political divisions of the earth are called political maps they show countries states districts etc students mark this line maps still etc this is the definition of political map next different types of political boundaries are used to demarcate the countries states districts etc students here demarcate means to show next capital cities are marked with a black round dot students remember we always shows the capital city with the black dot students this is the example of political map you can see the state boundaries and international boundaries are demarcated here next type of map is thematic maps so let's start reading theme based maps are called thematic maps students mark this line this is the definition of thematic maps next these maps are based on certain information for example climate rainfall population railways roadways economy etc here economy related with finance next these maps are large scale maps students here large scale maps means the maps which shows small area with great detail next topographical maps are the thematic maps which provide detailed information about the relief features of the land students the meaning of topographical maps we have already discussed in important terms means the maps which shows both natural and man made features by using different conventional signs and symbols students this is the example of topographical map which shows both man made and natural features of the earth now we will discuss let's inquire first we will discuss difference between globe and map first point of globe is globe is spherical in shape here spherical means round it means globe is round in shape now first point of map is map is a flat representation of the earth surface it means maps are representation of the earth surface on a piece of paper second point globe is three dimensional here globe is three dimensional means we can see the length breadth and spherical shape of the earth and map is two dimensional means we can see only the length and breadth we can't see spherical shape of the earth on a map because map is drawn on a flat surface number 3 globe accurately portrays continents shapes 
and distance between land masses. It means globe shows exact shape of the continents and distance between land masses. And number third of map, map distorts continents shapes and size. It means in map we can stretch or squeeze the shape and size of the continents. Now students, next we will discuss questions related with this topic. First, what are the globes and maps used for? The answer is, to know the location of various places of the world, we use globes and maps. Number two, the globe are better than a flat map. Why? The answer is, a globe is more accurate than a flat map, as it shows the true shape of the earth's surface. It also represents accurate distance between land masses. Students, in this video we have discussed meaning of globe, its uses, limitation of globe, then meaning of map, types of maps in which we have discussed physical map, political maps and thematic maps. In thematic map, we have discussed topographical map. Students, I hope this topic is clear to you. Now your homework for today is to read the topic that we did plus write the terms that we discussed on your copy. Thank you.